Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Paint with Nick. It's almost Christmas, which means it's almost New Year's, which means it's time to reassess everything that I did last year and kind of set new goals for next year. Um, something I do every year and I do on a small scale every month and I kind of do on a smaller scale every week and every day. And so I'm always trying to make sure that the next day is better than the last day or that I do more, that I do something better or that I just try to improve a little bit. And, um, you can do that on a larger scale, like on a five or one year basis. Talking about that, there's one goal that I set myself at the beginning of 2015 that, I followed halfway, sort of, but not as much as I really should have, and it's something that I slipped on, and I wanted to make this video to show you guys why and how I slipped on it, and what I'm going to do to change it next year. So what I have here is my handy dandy briefcase. I carry this with me everywhere I go, and it has everything that I need in it. I'll put my laptop, books, but most importantly, I keep everything that I need to do a gouache painting in here. Um, the first part of this video, I'm just going to walk you through everything that I carry around um, on a day-to-day -day basis so that I can just sit down and start painting with very little effort. Uh, first, I have all of my paints, and I have random paint mixtures just in case I'm ever feeling a little confused or a little stuck um, that are set for street, you know, street times or just basic landscapes, figure painting, or landscape set number two, and these are just random color variations that are all limited palettes of four to five colors that I can squeeze in on my palette and get a pretty broad range. And if you wanna know more about this list of color combinations, I'll have all of the paints and all of these color combinations in the description below, so you can check that out. And if we open it up here, I have my tape, a sealable cup, water, brushes, which I just keep in a old brush holder, not fancy, it's all duct taped together, and I just have a few filberts, a few flats, and a few pointed brushes. This is my palette. It's just a ceramic dish, you can buy it at Walmart or Target or Publix for like four bucks. My rag, just an old dirty t-shirt, and here's my watercolor set, which I don't use as much anymore. It, I was really big on watercolors when I first started plein air painting, but since then I kind of fell in love with gouache, and so I don't always break out the watercolors, but I like to carry them with me just in case. And then last but not least is the actual sketchbook. I like to use Strathmore Windpower watercolor sketchbooks. This is the fifth sketchbook of these that I filled up and I'll usually do one to two paintings per page. And I'll just try to do them anytime I'm bored or in my car. Nine out of 10 of my paintings are just done in my car or at a coffee shop, something like that. So. That is all the supplies that I carry with me on my day-to-day -day basis. Oh, I forgot one thing. I do use these water-soluble pencils to draw with a lot of the time. And these are just uh, Faber-Castell water-soluble pencils. I actually have an entire box of colors, but usually I just like to use these three times of reds because they blend nicely. And then I just have a regular 2H pencil to draw with that. This video, I just wanted to focus on one goal and kind of hone in on why I don't think I nailed it and what was holding me back. And I think it was a lot of things. I think it was laziness, honestly. I think it was distractions. It was just being overworked and you know not having a ton of time or just not wanting to go out in the hot or the cold, um, which I guess is laziness. So it's on me. 